Hello, this is Professor Scott Norman with another micro lesson on AC gauge analysis. Uh, we're looking at uh, AC gauge readings from a 2012 Chevy Cruze that is not blowing uh, cold air. Uh, the vehicle was uh, turned on, the AC was turned on, and so we can see that the uh, that the low side gauge readings is reading uh, a little bit over 10 psi, and uh, high side gauge readings is around uh, 120. This is the TXV system, and uh, we're noticing that the uh, that that the low side gauge is reading uh, too low, and the uh, the high side gauge um, uh, could be considered normal if the vehicle was uh, started up and and the engine is not cold. Uh, if you look at the shop temperature, it's uh, it's it's uh, 68 degrees, so it's definitely not a, a high heat load situation. So. So, so the high side gauge is is maybe reading on the low side of normal, but the low side gauge is is definitely low. Um, this particular uh, video section that I'm, I'm using, uh, the, how I use this uh, in the classroom is is I show it to the students uh, before we go out and start doing some in depth uh, diagnostics uh, for for AC systems to help get them to figure out how to analyze uh, gauge readings. Just now, the uh, the AC was um, was turned off, and we're doing an equalization test. And so, for a TXV uh, system, uh, you would expect it to equalize. Um, it could be from five minutes all the way up to thirty minutes. So, so you can see that the low side gauge uh, is moving up, and so it does look like it is equalizing. So, um, so uh, during the equalization test, we're looking to see if it's too fast or too slow. And on this particular equalization test, I'm going to say this is a, a fairly normal equalization test. So if you're, if you're going through this with your uh, students, uh, you're going to want to maybe uh, turn the audio off so, so, so you don't um, listen to my voice. And then uh, that way the students uh, have time to analyze the uh, gauges uh, themselves without uh, me giving them the answer. And so, so, so on this particular vehicle, um, we have a a we have a low side restriction is, is what we do so there's restriction uh, at the txv uh the, the txv is still physically moving there is just a restriction right in front of the um of the txv uh, rust is starting to build up and debris is starting to be caught uh in that txv and so um anytime that it's uh that that the ac is turned on which we're going to turn it back on here in just a little bit uh low side uh, it gets pulled down pretty quick. Uh, if there was a total restriction, 100% restriction, there would there would be no equalization. So so the uh, the uh, the the low side gauge would still be reading, you know, at, at 10. And on some systems, um, uh, when you start up the AC, it could even pull it into a vacuum if there's a if there's a low side restriction. Now I ask the students a lot of times, hey, if, if there's a TFE it, it's restricted, what's going to happen? And so they'll say that well the low side will go low but the high side will go crazy high and 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 that is not the case. Um, uh, if you have a low side restriction uh, either at the TXV or in the um, in the evaporator, uh, typically uh, low side is low but high side will also go down. And so I've uh, you can show this real easy by doing a, uh, a CO2 test on the TXV, spraying a super cold substance on the uh, on the power dome of the TV, TXV to get it to close, and immediately the um, the low side drops down, and the high side, wherever it was at, let's say it was at 200, will drop down to maybe 175 or something like that. So so it's important to note that on a low side restriction, uh, high side does not go up. High side actually goes down. Uh, because there's lots of space on the high side, uh, it, that's where the uh, that's where the receiver driver is, and the system tends to, the compressor kind of runs out of refrigerant <laughs> before the high side system is filled, and so there's a lot more volume on the high side with the condenser and the receiver dryer than there is on the low side, uh, and so so the system doesn't have time to actually um, uh, pressurize. Again, the AC is turned on right now, and we're seeing that the low side is too low. This is uh, Professor Scott Norman. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.